Good morning, everyone. Today I am going to Main Barn Antiques, which is up in Azel. The owners of it go up to New England every once in a while and bring down antiques to sell here in Texas. So I'm going to check them out. They usually have a good selection of uh, historical dress pieces, so I'm going to see if they have anything that I want to add to my collection today. So let's go. First, I could find the basket on the floor. It had several baggies in it that were full of Victorian crimps that had been salvaged off of gowns. And while they were a little bit on the pricier side, at around $60 a bag, it was so amazing to be able to handle these crimps in person and really get to study them and take pictures. Maybe use them as a reference for some future projects. Our next find was this black silk dress, which we dated to between 1918 and 1921. The wrap front of the dress closed with snaps over a placket that was edged with beaded lace. The front of the dress didn't have a waisting, but was cut as one piece from the shoulder to the hem. There was a bit of tape facing the inside of the collar, and the snaps were sewn down to the tape. The bodice was lined with a sheer white silk that was edged with white lace. The bottom edge was finished with a waist tape, and the entire lining hung loosely and was only tacked in in a couple of places. The back of the dress was cut in two pieces, the back of the bodice being a separate piece and the skirt being gathered into the back waistband. We also found this wool plaid child's dress, which we initially had some trouble dating but eventually pegged to around 1890. The pleats in the front are purely decorative as the inner lining is actually fitted. It had this little decorative black cotton velvet vest which was edged with a bit of metallic trim and lined in a brown polished cotton. The dress closed down the back with small metallic buttons which fit through hand-sewn buttonholes. The neckline of the dress was decorated with some velvet ribbon, and the interior was lined in a cotton ticking. There was additional length at the bottom of the bodice, probably to allow for growth, and the skirt was just gathered into the waistline there, with the edge left raw. The sleeve was actually lined in brown polished cotton instead of ticking, probably because it was a little softer and more comfortable. Our last find of the day was a late 1880s, early 1890s gray silk bodice. It wasn't in the best of condition and it had been altered several times during the course of its life. There were some nice little details to the bodice, like the tuck at the hem of the sleeve and the yellow and pink tulle ruffle that was both on the sleeve and on the neckline. The interior of the bodice was lined in a plain white cotton 
and it closed up the front with hooks and eyes originally. All of the seam lines and the darts had boning to help keep structure, and there was a small bust pad to help fill out the hollow in the armpit. There were some metal snaps down the front of the bodice that had definitely been added in later, but the original hooks and eyes were still in place, and the lining hung loosely from the front opening. At the waistline of the bodice, there was a little belt buckle that seems to have been damaged at some point. There wasn't any sort of a hook or any other apparatus to actually help keep it closed. Even though Main Barn offered up a lot of really cool costume pieces that day, I ended up only taking home one item, which was this hand-knitted pair of really beautiful antique mittens, which were only $3, so I couldn't really pass them up. Thank you so much for coming along with me today, and I hope that if you find yourself in North Texas and want to do a bit of antiquing, that you'll end up in Main Barn and check out their assortment of items for yourself. They have everything from historical costume pieces to antique farm implements, so there's something for everyone there. If you enjoyed that video, I hope that you hit that like button below. And if you want to see more videos about my costuming adventures and my sewing projects, please hit that subscribe button so that you get all the latest updates. I'll see you next time!